December 8th, The Impartial Power of God By one offering, He has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. Hebrews 10, verse 14 We trample the blood of the Son of God underfoot if we think we are forgiven because we are sorry for our sins. The only reason for the forgiveness of our sins by God and the infinite depth of His promise to forget them is the death of Jesus Christ. Our repentance is merely the result of our personal realization of the atonement by the cross of Christ, which He has provided for us. Jesus Christ became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30 Once we realize that Christ has become all this for us, the limitless joy of God begins in us. And wherever the joy of God is not present, the death sentence is still in effect. No matter who or what we are, God restores us to a right standing with Himself only by means of the death of Jesus Christ. God does this not because Jesus pleads with Him to do so, but because He died. It cannot be earned, just accepted. All the pleading for salvation which deliberately ignores the cross of Christ is useless. It is knocking at a door other than the one which Jesus has already opened. We protest by saying, But I don't want to come that way. It is too humiliating to be received as a sinner. God's response through Peter is, There is no other name by which we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12 What at first appears to be heartlessness on God's part is actually the true expression of His heart. There is unlimited entrance His way. In Him we have redemption through His blood. Ephesians 1 verse 7 To identify with the death of Jesus Christ means that we must die to everything that was never a part of Him. God is just in saving bad people only as He makes them good. Our Lord does not pretend we are all right when we are all wrong. The atonement by the cross of Christ is the propitiation God uses to make unholy people holy.